is going to be the Capcom Cup champion going up against Punk. I'm very curious to see how this matchup is going to play out against Laura. The aggressive style coming from Idom. Is it going to be enough to take down the ice cold defense from Colleen? We're going to go to it right now. Colleen's going to be able to move around a lot in this matchup. And I feel you like. Think so? Yeah, I think she's going to. I mean, personally, I feel like you have to be a lot more wary. She has the command throw with the V skill, too. She'll be mm -hmm. able to freeze out in some of these answers. Sure, sure. I think this is good. I think in parabellum hands as well. Right. Uh, the double jump that, to get yeah. out of situations. This this is doable for Colleen. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, Punk has such good footsies. It just looks good. Yeah, wow. I think she has all the right tools for the normals, right? Look at this neutral being played by Punk. He's not overstepping boundaries. We talked about the movement that could come from these normals. But we'll see what happens once you get put in the blender. Can you escape from Lord Idom? Oh, crush. That Half-Life life lead just oh went to God. nothing. Reset. One more, mm. that's the stun, oh, activate nasty. Spark Show. Oh, this is not going to be nice, not Ugh. dead yet, though. And the scaling from the v trigger afterwards because it was a stun. Oh, oh no, awareness. that was nutty. I've been here before. I've been here for years. <laughs> nice. Ugh. Don't call it a comeback. All right, so it actually was indeed a comeback. We saw the life <laughs> deficit on the side of IDOM near or below halfway point. But Punk, again, did not have the defense in time or wasn't weary of what IDOM's game plan was enough to come back. Yeah, I mean, the, the very pay, the very slow paced start to this match lets you know just how serious both of these guys are taking it. Punk was in a great what situation. A with, punish. with punish into EX Parabellum, gets the knockdown, dash up once again. And I feel like this is actually in contention to be a great follow-up character for Punk. He gets to play with Nephew all the time, so you know he has the tech. Big jump in with the heavy kick, and this corner is not going to be a nice situation. But we've seen where Idom has gotten some lucky breaks in the corner to escape some of these dangerous situations. Locking him down with that fear. Such great range on that. Kind of tough to whiff punish, but... Either way, Punk is placing him so well that it's not going to whiff punish. Instead, he's going to check his peripherals and make sure the down is working as he takes mm -hmm, down Idom, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. tying it up, asserting his dominance in game one. We've seen the left work. We've seen the right work. Up obviously works, but the down was the last test that we need to make mm -hmm. sure. Punk being absolutely sure. Gets the EX Parabellum hands again. And this is looking like the second half of that second round the fr in, the, in this first match here. This is when you turn the light switch on when it comes to Punk, right? We saw the emotional state of Punk, how he's playing for his team. This is back in his alpha form. Oof, what chase. Holding up right there to make sure you're going to have an opportunity to punish. Right back to the middle of the screen again. And I like the way this is going for Punk. Back throw. Another one. Rock bottom. Sweep activation, very common to counter hit. And checking the lows afterwards. Checking the movement against IDOM. Punk Ooh. is all over the screen. Oh. You talk about the movement. You talking about oh the movement. Oh my He's God, smoothing. the disrespect. Good right, baby. If you mix up your claps, like claps and um, buffered stand, uh, crouching medium punch, mm -hmm. your buffered crouching medium punch will beat his back roundhouse. Um, but mix that up with, with some dashes too. What do you do when you charge in a fire? Can I sweep maybe? It's just really scary. Or should I just keep jumping? Yeah, I think the jump was the best mm -hmm. idea. Okay, okay. Good enough solution, to be honest with you. But he got to read in that range, right? I was actually about to say, that's the problem, the range. You don't want to get that close versus I don't. Right back to that neutral game. Punk making a statement saying, Idom's not messing with him with in the neutral. Oh, big jump in. Would disagree. Sunset with EX, chase to the corner. Double jump to get out. Oh, oh too missed time early on the command throw. Oh. Oh, a little off on that. And that's how we saw this first match play out where, you know, Idom was in full control and just one turnaround after the trigger gave back the match to Punk. But right now, Idom's changes definitely helping out. Back throw, just a little bit of trigger left. Yo, the, he's using the nephew tech. The tick throw nephew tech in V trigger sure, working yeah. out. Wow. Riff punish on the EX spark bolt. Still gets the exchange in the corner. Great oh, combo. Oh, he caught the movement. I think he was trying to jump out of the corner. Caught it with a meaty. And that's going to be an. Oh, not quite. Activate. V oh, oh, this is going to be nice. cool. Oh, my, oh my gosh. God. Oh, dude. 
Idom playing out of his mind. I'm gonna stand up. This is tough because that lightning, that thunderclap was coming real soon. It could have been a normal, could have been a meaty, but man, the decision to command grab there. Idom with the read. Two steps Oof. ahead, big buffer. EX Spark Bolt. Oh, oh waited no. just a split second longer. Ugh. This looks like a very personal match, especially considering the timing of Punk is very specific to what Idom is trying to do. This is player versus player and character versus character. Mm -hmm. The very first time these two have played in, since Capcom Cup versus each other in a big event oh is Street Fighter League, and Game 2 is looking good for the Capcom oh, Cup champion. Okay. However, you have to remember, the ban on Poison is something you have to pay attention to. That was the character that got Idom his Capcom Cup victory. It's the character oh, that he time. beat with Punk. Steve. And now, oh, nice. oh, that took off so much damage. I didn't think that was going to kill. It's, again, once he's mentioned this in an interview before, once it's V-Trigger for Laura, it's 100% party time for That was really good defense on the side of Idom, actually. I am impressive with his, uh, his selection from the wheel of options he has on, on offense as well. He's th these are, like, we've talked about, and even some of the players have talked about how risky Idom plays, right? I feel like he's playing a lot safer here, and I'm really pointing at the fact that Punk is playing a very Ooh. specific game that I feel like it's so, it's, it's made to defeat Idom. This character feels like it gives him the tools to play a better neutral game versus Idom. Low Ford has quite a bit of reach on it, that heavy kicks too. A bunch of buffers behind both of those normals, right? But you gotta be careful when whiffing normals just like that, Punk is ready to fire away. Mm -hmm. Another safe start from Idom. Again, nice and patient with mm -hmm. punishing of his own. Oh, Another whiff the punish. Shimmy. Wait a minute. Meter. Look how much meter that built. Enough to get another bar for the second round. Two out of three. Unlike Capcom Cup, this is two out of three. No first to threes, no best to fives. You got to do it out of two. There's so much more pressure off of this here. So much Oof. comes off of this win for, for both of these teams. Look, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be biased, but I would really like to see another match. Oof. Oof. Uh, uh. Gets the sweep cancel. More Parabellum hands. Dash up. Oof. Standing heavy kick, standing heavy punch, alternating between the two. They have two different ranges. And look at what happens. That's right. stunned. We're going to another round. You asked for it, Steve. Ask and you shall receive. Mm, uh, the last the hit of the stun, the pulse stun combo to do the damage, to get the kill. Final round here. Idom going up against Punk. The Capcom Cup run back. What a buffer. Ran right into the stand. Medium punch. EX Parabellum continuing it off with another Parabellum. Rock bottom, set him down real quick. Oh, wake up. EX elbow gets out of the corner and dashes up to keep the offense going. That elbow whiffs, going back to the normals. Those long reaching normals, vanity step. Wow! Wow, the, oh, how did he know? This is a very personal match. These guys are fighting each other. This isn't Colleen versus Laura. This is definitely Idom versus Punk right now, and it is getting down to the nitty gritty. Punk with the life lead, full trigger on the table, and that's that. The controller is down, and Punk is going off. The hand is out. No congratulations yet on the side from Punk. Man, shake his hand. Don't leave him hanging. Don't leave him hanging. Don't. There you go. Don't leave him hanging. The pop off was real though. A well deserved pop off. The big run back, and Punk is feeling good.